is not my car. What in the fuck is going on? And there's a people playing soccer with this. Is not my car. It's not my car. Where is my? What the fuck is doing? What? Why? How did I get in this car in the first place? It's so, so roomy, but it's so stupid. I hate this damn car. Why am I driving in a car that I have no idea how to drive? Oh, look, I'm taking a fucking turn. Oh man, pardon my French. I mean a freaking turn. God. Damn it. Whoa. It's pitch black. I already had a monetized morning for this radio. Anyway, hey guys. So I know you guys are probably wondering why the fuck have I not videotaped at all today? Well, the answer is quite simple, my dear. I had a freaking headache all day and I just was not in the mood to pick up the camera and vlog myself. And plus, it's been a very boring day. It's literally just been me in a car doing nothing. But, as you can tell, it's freaking raining. So you really didn't miss much. It's been cold. It's been boring. And that little skit that was in the beginning, where I was like, oh my god, I'm not in my car. Uh, my car is getting fixed. And what I was going to do, I was going to do another video of me in the rental car, but then Allstate, or Enterprise, was like, he can't drive the car, he's underage. And then my mom's like, but State Farm said that I could. And all state. So, this, this whole damn thing's annoying as hell. I think my phone's going off, I'm pretty sure it is. It was. <coughs> Just photos, ah, <laughs> my friend knows how to cheer me up. That's a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. Anyway, <coughs> back to what I'm saying. Um, it's just literally been a bullshit day, kinda. Just nothing really to do. Just been driving and relaxing. And also, my back is literally on fire. It it's not getting any better. And I hope I don't have to go to the doctors for this again because it's it's honestly it's a it's fucking hurting. Like, it's it's never hurt this bad to where I can't walk anymore. And even when I get home and I'm in bed, it hurts. I've been taking pills up the ass for this shit, and it just doesn't get better. And it's keeping me up at night again too. And that's again something that hasn't happened in over fucking years. So my back's is another issue. Let's see if I can do this without my hands. Nope. Okay. Uh. Does that work? No. I am gonna have to. Oh no, right here. You guys see me? No. I'll have to check this footage later. Anyway. Oh boy. I'm sure you guys can't see. It's not better. God damn it all. Why do these cars not have like little camera angles here? Here, does this work? <coughs> Maybe you can see more of my dick. It's not funny. All right, whatever. As long as you can see me a little. As long as you can hear me, I can care less. Oh, but my back, low key, my back is killing me. It is like, have you ever been punched in the back so hard that you were just like, oh, and like fell over in pain? Times that by like 30, and that's my pain. And it just, a oh, fucking Greco. <laughs> it's the trucking company. Uh, I should call Bob. I gotta move, guys. <coughs> this is this is Greco, by the way. But you gotta dance, Greco. It's a gigantic truck that delivers food. So I'm gonna move. <sighs> oh boy, that was long yawn. <laughs> See, I ride, guys. I'm funny. I know I am. Tee hee. I just wish today wasn't so crappy. I don't, I honestly, I, it's like two o'clock in the morning and I don't know what else to talk about. I, I made 90 or 89 bucks. I was short a dollar for making 90. Actually, no, I wasn't because I have a dollar in my pocket. Uh, 
what else? Oh, uh, I'm driving TJ's car, which I hate his car because it's like it's like a fucking tank driving down the street. Uh, the only good part of this car is I think it's. Uh, oh my god, I think I've showed you. But I can't use music. I can't play music because I was already warned once about mon my monetized videos, which I don't know why I have them monetized, seeing as I don't make money. I literally do not make money. Every ad you see, I literally make that many pennies. Or at least I don't know. I haven't checked that in a while. Hell, I might have like $800 saved up in there. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, but uh, it's just, it's been a slow kind of relaxing day. Not really because my back is killing me so I didn't really relax. I did sleep in though. Did sleep in. And I am not stopping the vlogs, guys. You know why? Because I'm not a quitter. I'm going to do the vlogs for a whole year. If I get more people to watch the videos, well, then I will do them for another year. And if more people view my pay videos, then I'll do it for another year. So that's three years so far. But so far, not a lot of people are enjoying my videos. But I don't care. I do my videos because I want to do my videos. And I do my videos because I think they're funny. And a lot of my friends think they're funny. So I can give a fuck what you think. Here's a life lesson, guys. Here's a quick life lesson. That's what I think I'm going to do every time I end the video. I'm going to do a life lesson and goodbye. Life lesson, goodbye. Yes. Life lesson for number one, day 10. I think it's day 10. Guys, it's our 10 day anniversary. Life lesson number one. Who cares what anyone thinks? Who cares if you're fat, ugly, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, tangerine, I don't give a fuck who you are. And I don't think you should give a shit of who the fuck you are. That was the last words for a very inspirational thing, but <coughs> I don't care if you have got a beard, I don't care if you got some type of venereal disease, I don't care if you got anything wrong with you. You know why? Because you're a human, just like me. Why should I care how you look? Why should I care about what you think? And that's what I wish a lot of people would do. Not care about what the person looks like, but look in their heart. Because I've met a lot of people in my time, 19 years, you know, it's not a lot of time, but I met a lot of people that I didn't care about their looks. I went off their personality. And I mean, look at me, I'm friends with Michelle, John, Chris, Joey, um, you know, everyone, because I don't judge. I, I'm not an angry person, I, you know, unless I, I mean, I'm not that, I'm not that nice of a person, but life lesson number one, don't care. Just don't care, you know? If, you know, that person's nice, why the fuck do you want them to be skinny? If they're, you know, cool, if, you know, if they're nice and cool and they're chill and you really like them, who cares about their looks? Society has like literally made this world a laughing stock where Barbie, every girl wants to be like Barbie, but guess what? Barbie is anatomically, no, I'm sorry, that's the wrong word. Barbie is literally the biggest thing in the world. Like no one in the world can be Barbie unless of course plastic surgery and then guess what? They won't be able to live. So for all the girls that are wanting thigh gaps and, you know, pretty boobs and pretty face and a nice ass, who cares? At the end of the day, who cares? That was a very long pause. I, this is most of my life, actually. I'm a big guy. Not really lovable. Well, I'm fucking lovable as hell. Ask all my friends. I'm lovable as shit. But if you want people to start liking you, don't have a list of what you want to be your friends. Make that list personality. That's all you need. That's all you need. Sorry, I thought I, I thought I hit some metal on my chest. I was like, what the fuck? All you need in life is to be happy. Sex. Alcohol. No, <laughs> just kidding, guys. All you need in life is personality. Because if you don't have a personality, you're basically a stick in the mud. And if you're a stick in the mud, guess what? I still love you. Because I don't have a list. My list literally consists of personality and like 4% looks. I mean, I, I, I can't talk to someone with like, I, I can't talk to someone that has like a, 
like the most, I'm, all right, this is going to sound really bad. I'm just going to end that right there. I can talk to anybody. I was going to say like a face deformity and I'm like, wow, that would consider myself the assholes I'm talking about. No, I will talk to anyone, anywhere. If I get like 10 billion fans, I would want to talk to all of them. Guys, I'll be right back. I got to go through the bank. <laughs> sorry, this, this is all over the place. I'm so sorry. All right, where was I again? Oh, that's right. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares <clears throat> what you look like, what you talk like, what you act like? I got a lot of buddies who are, you know, ADHD, or I'm pretty sure one of them is, uh, what is it? I don't know, I forgot the word, but I'm pretty sure he is what I think he is. Because he gets really mad, and I'm really happy, and then really mad, and really happy, and then really mad, and really happy, and really mad. <laughs> oh, damn near killed myself. <coughs> I just choked on saliva in the middle of that. You guys just witnessed me almost die of choking on my saliva. Ugh. Oh boy, that was unattractive, I don't care. And all you ladies out there, speaking about unattractability, if that's even a real word, 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 why couldn't I say word, word, sound like a cartoon, word, 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 anyway. Uh, <coughs> all you ladies, all you females out there, all of y'all are beautiful. I know I'm not the most attractive gentleman in the bed, in, you know, in the, in the party room, you know, in the, in the club 100, but you know what? You shouldn't even care about my fucking looks. You know, I've, I've been through a lot of shit in my entire life. And most of the time it's because people don't want to talk to me. They are afraid to talk to me. And the reason is, is because I'm a six foot three gigantic motherfucker. <coughs> but why, did this, why should that stop anyone, right? I'm sorry, I'm debating on where the fuck to park right now. There's like five cars in my driveway. But why should why should that stop you from saying hello to somebody, to talking to somebody? Why would that stop anyone? Because of their looks? Because of their how they look and what they look like? That doesn't help anyone. Why does that matter anymore? <coughs> and this goes for you guys too. Why are you so picky on women? It, it makes me no sense because I know a lot of people, a lot of people who are the most nicest people in the world, but they just get looked over. Like, they, they just, it goes right over their heads. People just right over them and look at some girl with fake titties and fake asses and unbelievably waist sizes and shit. Who cares? You know, I got a lot of people that I've helped during hard times, and I know how they feel. I recently was in love with this girl, and I was like, oh my god, she's beautiful, she's perfect. I would tell her all the time, and guess what? She just looked right over me. Didn't even notice me. I planned to take her out on a date, and you know what? She looked right over me. But that didn't stop me. That didn't stop me. It stopped me until I found out that she was liking another guy while talking to me. Then I stopped. <coughs> but that just goes to show you guys. Gotta pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and walk on. I'm going all over the place with this video. There's a lot of things on my head. I'm a very depressed person. <laughs> I know I don't seem it, but I'm a very depressed person. So, uh, one thing I want everyone to learn from my videos is do not judge. Don't judge me. Don't judge the person next to you. If you're watching this on a fucking plane and there's some Mexican guy sitting next to you, say what's up. How you doing, man? That's what you should say. Not put your headphones in, fuck the world, you know, go to hell. That's not what you should be doing. If you're sitting on a bus. I want you to look to the guy next to you and be like, what's up, man? What's up? What's good? What's good, man? I don't want you to just look at him and be like, and judge secretly, because I know some of you little fuckers out there judge secretly. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know why? Because it ain't secret. When you're staring at someone like this, 
They know you judging. We ain't stupid. Basically, what I want you guys to understand is don't, like, here's a box. This is, this is what I want you guys to not do. This is a box, right? It's the shittiest box I've ever seen, but it's a box. I want you to break it open. Look inside. Go through it. You know, figure out what's inside that box. And after you're done looking in that box, show other people that box. Go up to people. Look at this box. Look at this box. This box is freaking amazing, man. There's 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 some sparkly shit in this box, and there's there's oh, there's candy in this box. That sounds like a pedophile. There's candy in this box. <laughs> there's there's silly string and soap and bubble wrap and oh my god, there's so much stuff in this box. But you're afraid to show people. You're afraid to go out in the world and be who you want to be, you know, because. Society wants you to be something else. Because that's what I want to say. It's fuck society, dude. Fuck society. Fuck society. I want everyone to post in the comments, fuck society. Because who cares? <coughs> this is like a 30 minute rant of who cares. That's why I'm going to put the title. Who cares? Rant. Vlog. Day 10. Because it pisses me off. You know. I got... Look, I got hella people that are asleep, but hella people who are fucking wonderful people. Wonderful fucking people. They just got thrown in this twisted life and are just completely sad because everyone looks past them. But you know what? I don't. I talk to them. I communicate. I, you know, I'm always like, what's up, man? How you doing? You know, I haven't talked to you in for like six months, but I'm still here, man. If you need anything, I'm here. My buddy Ron, he's watching these videos right now. I know he, either if he is, and I'm kind of sad, but I know he is. He's a fucking awesome person. And earlier in my videos, I talked about that one person that sent me a message. And it, it's, it's not the fact that he sent the message, but I never had a problem with him. He was always that cool kid. You know, and he apologized to me for stuff that happened in high school. And I'm thinking, whatever he did in high school, I don't even remember it because I never thought about it. And even to this day, it's been a week almost. As soon as I started the video, I had like, I thought someone tapped on my window. That kind of freaked me out. So I'm going to turn off the light now. Fucking tinted windows. I can't see shit out these windows. Anyway, can't do it. He sent me that, and I'm just thinking, bro, I'm not mad. Because what happened in the past is the past, and for, I'm looking up to you now because you are a better person for saying that. Let's see. Seven minutes. Seven minutes, guys. I'm going to be up here for two more minutes. I'm going to watch on this clock. It's 2.47. He apologized to me. <coughs> and I don't, he's not, a, he's not, I'm not disrespecting him. He's a very wonderful person. I love this kid now. But one day, me and him, me and you, Ron, we're going to go out and get some coffee or something. Put in the comments if you say yes. <laughs> oh man, I'm fucking cracking up. No, serious moment, serious moment, serious moment. Uh, uh. I gotta make you guys laugh once in a while. I'm sorry. This is such a downfall. This this vlog is just going. But tell the person you like that you like him. Tell your crush that you like him. Tell your best friend that it, you don't want anything to happen to him. Tell your mom that you love her. Tell your dad that you love him. Mom, Dad, I love you. TJ, I love you. All my friends that watch my videos, I love every single one of you. Not from your looks, not from what you do, not from who you are, not for being the person, but I love you <coughs> because you're there. You're in my life. Every part of my life has had one, uh, at least more than one person in it. Every person. <coughs> Jesus Christ, I can't stop coughing. I got one minute, damn it. Yeah, one minute. Damn it. Oh, I'm getting sick, guys. It sucks. I'm sorry, but my whole entire life, I'm not crying either. I just had the sniffles. Uh, my whole entire life, I've had millions of friends. I've had hundreds of friends, you know? They've never left me. Never. And that's that's what I like. They, they deal with my craziness. Michelle, fucking love her. She deals with my whole insanity. But... Oh my god, my, my minutes are red. Hold on. When the letters go red, it means I've run out of space.
to the blind sometimes. <laughs>